What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and if you've been on the internet for the last few days you would see that there were rumors about the Nintendo NX spilling all over the place and some of these involved it actually having a handheld and a console but there has been some further clarification as time went on so I was waiting until this video to be able to read through this information with you guys and then give you my thoughts on this and just to see where all your heads are at with this whole NX thing too. My man Rogers Bass did a video on it so I want to follow up with my own video and see just what this information means in my perspective and if you share my opinions then let me know and if you don't then of course I want to know that as well too I'm trying to leave more of an open mind with this whole thing anyways let's check out these articles I got one from Nintendo um, everything and then one from Kotaku these of course as usual will be linked in the description so go and check those out um, also I'm going to be oh and the reason why I'm using looking at the Kotaku articles because it's looking at things after the initial news came out so it's breaking down some more of the facts and seeing if there were some errors made here and there it's really good for that kind of stuff. Anyways, let's take a look at this um, Nintendo Everything. Um, see, this Nintendo Everything article real quick. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more here so you can see what I'm reading, and um, let's see what kind of information is going on here. Because of course, we're all excited about the NX. We all want to know what the hell the goddamn thing is in the first place. There's no information on it currently. Nintendo has started to distribute a software development kit. Okay, I did hear about this. Um, from the new for the new NX system to third parties, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal. Oh, it's legit, then, my boy. It's fucking legit. Okay, here we go. The publication cited people familiar with the matter in its report. Nintendo could introduce NX as early as next year, which a lot of us were saying is going to happen because there's some kind of scheduled release that Nintendo has for summertime of next year, which of course doesn't go into specifics, but manufacturing companies have been preparing to put out a product at that time. So remember, I did a video on that earlier on. If you hadn't been here, it's basically a manufacturing plant or a company or a, produ a production company, one of, the, one of those said that it had something slated for Nintendo release for next year. Is it the NX? We don't know. The Wall Street Journal also briefly touched on NX's form. It isn't absolutely certain what shape it will take, but the publication noted that Nintendo would likely include both a console and at least one mobile unit that could either be used in conjunction with the console or taken on the road for separate use. Additionally, the company apparently intends to include industry-leading chips in the NX devices. Following criticisms about the Wii U's power and the console's inability to stack up against the competition. All of that information is said to have come from those familiar with the development plans. My nigga, is it going down? I feel like Nintendo finally has learned their lesson. God damn, are we getting a system that's as powerful as the goddamn current gen? I, I'm hoping to God this is the case, man, because if this thing came out and it couldn't even hold a candle to the bone or the PS4, then God damn, they're already starting themselves off on a bad foot. I know power doesn't necessarily mean or facilitate everything with a console, but God damn it, it helps now, especially in the modern day and age where, you know, better graphics are needed to push games to make them look more visually appealing and other things like that. Better technology in general would make for a better console ecosystem overall, man. And I hope they fix that friend system as well, too. You cannot have it where you can't mass delete friends anymore. God damn it, Nintendo. I'm seriously praying for you guys. I'm not trying to sound like a pessimist here. I'm actually rather optimistic. I really want to see Nintendo make this NX the best Nintendo console that's ever dropped on the planet. I'm hoping to God that they learn their lesson. The fact that it's coming out with a mobile console unit, though? This could be interpreted as a lot of things, and maybe we shouldn't automatically assume that it's going to be a game console that comes in mobile and, you know, home purchases. Excuse me, not purchases, but rather home and mobile consoles. But I mean, maybe they mean like the peripheral in terms of mobile gaming could also be used as a controller, and it can have some kind of functionality outside. Sort of like back in the Dreamcast days with the VMUs, and I had a little chow on that shit. But, um, let's see what some more of the article is saying. Finally, the Wall Street Journal's article briefly touches on the NX release's timing. NX's release timing. Having spoken with an um, analyst, they might be reason to believe that Nintendo will be looking to bring it out relatively quickly. We are increasing of the idea that Nintendo might launch the NX in 2016 because of the softness of the 3DS and the Wii U. We won't be hearing or seeing NX at least in any official capacity until 2016, and most likely not at least until maybe quarter 2 or 3 of 2016, when they'll at least talk about it or mention it. If the Wii U is going to be followed up by the NX in 2016, then that means that it's most likely going to be released at the holiday season, which makes sense since most console releases happen around those times. It would make it, it makes perfect sense when you think about it. It seems a little bit too soon, but considering how they said the 3DS and the Wii U are getting a little bit soft at the moment, 3DS is still holding itself down. But the Wii U, of course, as we all know, its numbers never really caught up to the point or the pace that Nintendo intended for them to. So 
If they do release the Annex next year, I'm just hoping that they give us some information about it in the earlier part of the year, maybe March, because they have to, of course, build up the hype. So I'm guaranteeing you, if they're releasing it in 2016, then they're going to start building hype for that bitch in March. I, I, I promise you, that has to be the case. Um, let's look at the Kotaku article now, which goes into more perspective about the whole thing. I didn't read this one either, but it's going to still be good for information, so let's check it out. According to a gaming platform, a gaming, a, uh, excuse me, Nintendo's new gaming platform will encompass a console and a handheld. The exact shape of the hardware isn't clear yet. Okay, so we read about this. Um, Nintendo has traditionally sold consoles and handhelds as separate devices that have little connection to each other. If the Wall Street Journal is correct, that would be changing. How often? Wait, how much of a change is hard to say? It's unclear if the NX platform will be offered to gamers and consumers as two separate devices, or if a console and mobile unit will be one bundled offering. But it does seem like the platform would further merge Nintendo's long separate console and handheld gaming strategies. And then an update today at 10.40 said the reporter who broke the story for the journal said on Twitter that the NX platform is likely to have more than two devices. What the fuck? What is this thing gonna... I don't know. Okay, alright. This is a little bit strange now. So, it's gonna have more... Like, I, I was saying to myself, maybe one of those mobile devices that they're talking about is the controller. So, let's consider this. If it is a console and a handheld and then a controller for them both, then that would be three. It would make sense, right? That further emphasizes the idea that the NX could be a family of machines that work together rather than a single unified device. And this kind of goes into mind of those patents that we covered on my channel before too, where Nintendo had a patent that apparently broadcasted something on their ceiling and would be monitoring your personal health at night. That device didn't really go too well with some of the other patented devices that we saw, like um, the diskless console, you know? The one that's only digital download, and then also the controller that has rollable, clickable scroll wheels as the shoulder buttons. All of these patents for these strange looking devices that seem like they're bringing revolutionary ideas to the table could potentially be all prototypes of the NX, but it's potentially, and we shouldn't be using that as a way to solidify, to, to solidify our thoughts on it being the NX. We updated the article's original headline. Um, to be more clear that while the platform of the NX seems to merge ideas of console and handheld, we don't know if there will be any device that does all that in one. I apologize for confusion. Nintendo's current console, the Wii U, has a figurative half-step towards combining blah, blah blah. But okay, so... All this information is pretty interesting. Okay, so here we go. 208. Nintendo's non-comment comment to us about all this is... As we previously announced, we will not comment further on NX until 2016. They are really tight-lipped about this whole thing. So I'm curious about this. What exactly will the NX bring to the table? If if Nintendo isn't going to be talking about this to 2016, then most likely it's it's got to be coming out that year. And if it doesn't come out 2016, then maybe it'll be coming out in the first quarter of 2017. Although I highly doubt that. I mean, have you ever? Do you guys remember any game console release that happened in January or you know the first quarter of a year? There definitely probably have been. I just don't have any that come to mind right now. I ain't a fucking psychic, but still. I'm super, super curious about this whole thing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Will the NX have a handheld and a controller that come with it as well too? Or do you have a totally different opinion on what the hell this could be? I'm waiting to see your responses, man. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.